Hey everybody, uh, as you know I've made a few fast catch videos in the past couple weeks, but I haven't explained exactly what we do in fast catch in competition. So today I'm going to do that, and we have a kind of a medium wind today, so hopefully I can get a few good rounds in too. Right now I'm standing in the center bullseye, let me show you that, and right here is a two meter circle painted on the ground. This is the center circle that most events are done from. You can see that, two meters. And uh, I just uh, put this little spike in the ground, got my measuring tape that goes out two meters, and then 20 meters, I'll show you that in a second. In fast catch, our objective is to catch five in a row as quickly as possible. Every throw has to be made from this center circle. You can catch outside of the circle, but then you have to run back and make your throw from the circle. So the more accurate the boomerang on the return, the faster your time is going to be because you're not wasting time running back and forth. Now in fast catch we get two rounds. So generally in the first round people try to go a little bit conservative, get a nice score, and then the second round go faster. Some people have a different theory. If the wind is good, they got the right boomerang, just go for it the first round. You can always go back and be a little slower in the second round if you didn't if you weren't successful in the first round. So that's the center circle. Let me turn that back around. And you can see, uh oh, we have a friend coming. Toby, there's a friend coming. You'll have to go play. Distract them for me, okay? All right, so I got a few streamers out there so you can see the wind. Let's go out here. You can see the setup I have. Now this is our 20 meter line. A 20 meter line goes all the way around the center and when we're throwing fast catch there'll be at least three people standing out away from this line watching to see if your boomerang crosses 20 meters if it doesn't cross this line it's no good and your time is therefore no good it has to cross so what we do stand about five meters away from the line and look out at this tangent and we just draw a wall in your head going straight up if the boomerang crosses that tangent I'll stick my hand up and call it good. I might not see it if it's in front of me or behind me, but we have other guys who spread out and they'll see that. So they'll raise their hand if they see it good. All right, so what I'm gonna do today, I've tried to place my tripod about 45 degrees off wind. I'm gonna mount the camera on there and I'm gonna try to throw a couple rounds of fast catch. So what should happen, as long as the wind stays the right direction, is my boomerang will never pass in front of the camera. It'll always pass behind the camera. And that way we'll know that it's going 20 meters. So I put the tripod low and I set my, um, my boomerang box lid up uh, to protect the camera. So just in case uh, the boomerang flies out of my hand low or something, I won't destroy my camera. So I'm gonna mount that on there and then I'll be back in a minute. Actually, actually before I go, sorry turn this around show you a couple things that we do to make catching and throwing a little bit easier because if your hands get sweaty you're gonna the boomerang's gonna slip you're gonna mess up the throw it's not gonna be accurate and might even hit the ground so we need to keep our hands dry and here's a few things we do first of all catching glove is usually pretty important a lot of people like to wear a catching glove on their their non throwing hand and they'll guide the boomerang into the glove to take most of the impact. And you just clamp down with your throwing hand and make the catch. But we often wear wristbands. And the reason for that is because when the boomerang comes back and you make a catch, sometimes that wing hits your forearm, your sweaty forearm. And now when you turn to transition, grab this boomerang with the other hand and throw it, it's wet with your sweat. So it's good to wear wristbands to protect from the sweat, protect your boomerang from the sweat. Some people also wear long sleeve shirts uh, during fast catch and endurance. Another thing that some of us do is we use this liquid wax called dry hands. Um, tennis people use this and uh, just put a few drops on, spread it on your hands and it repels water and sweat. Besides that, a lot of people like to wear a chamois or a towel in their shorts. So that way, if the boomerang, especially in the morning, if the boomerang hits the grass, still wet you can wipe the boomerang off while you're running back to the circle so all these things help us um, 
and keep the boomerang dry and get a get a good release. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount the camera and I'll be back in just a minute. All right, it's my last attempt for today. I've got plenty of time on the battery, so I'm just gonna go out and throw. And uh, if by some fluke of nature, I'm able to get five catches in a row, I'll uh, edit out all the rest and just uh, put that on the video. Highly unlikely though. These winds are a bigger beast than I am. All right, let's try it. What's up, buddy? What's up? Six meters. 